Hey Pisces. Okay. I'm gonna do a little reading. Um, I think I'm just gonna pick up on the energies of the cards. So see what is going on with Pisces. So, the Page of Cups in reverse, it's telling me about this, um, hmm. there was this warning, or maybe this type of um, intuitive warning that you missed. So, I see this here, but then I feel like that thing that you missed it came to light, like it came out. So you see here, like you're missing it and your intuition was telling you it's there. I know you can see that thing, it's there, but you missed it. And I feel like now we got the 10 of swords type of situation where you feel betrayed, you feel backstabbed, backstabbed and kind of like left behind, left or dead type of feeling like, yeah, I'm, I don't feel really good right now. I feel like somebody really took advantage of you or a situation. I feel like you didn't, you knew. Your intuition was telling you something. You let it go. Or maybe you kind of just believe people for what they said. Maybe, I don't know, like I, I'm feeling like like you knew something inside of you didn't feel good, uh, right, about a situation or a person, but you kind of let it go. I think it's sometimes it's easier to, um, to just believe what a person says. Like, I don't know if it's because you just don't believe that somebody could be that bad or that evil. But yeah, you took it for face value. You were ignoring your intuition. Okay, Pisces, this is something that I learned and I'm going to tell you too. In this world, a lot of times um, we're kind of programmed and we give people the benefit of the doubt a lot of times. And I kind of learned that when your intuition and your gut is like kind of sometimes even screaming at you because I could feel this is what the situation was with you. When it's screaming at you and telling you this isn't right, no, no, no. Do you feel comfortable in this situation? No. So you need to either back away from it or express how you're really feeling and not kind of sweep it under the rug and kind of just like, take for fat face value what this person is telling you is true or facts. You know, I don't know if that makes sense. But I see here that you had ignored that screaming, that internal intuition of, of yours, Pisces, one that is so strong, stronger than any other Zodiac. Your intuition is serious. It was screaming at you. And you ignored it. And now you're like, oh, fuck. All right, go a little deeper into this situation. What is the situation that happened to Pisces? What did they ignore? Aha, there it is. That's what you ignored. You missed it. Two of Cups in reverse. You shared information with someone. 
you kind of allowed someone in your life, in your in your circle. It's not clear. Like this card could be a relationship. It could be a friend, a family. I don't know. Any type of relationship. And I feel like you let somebody into your circle. Um, you trusted them. You communicated information that you probably shouldn't have. Because that's what I'm sensing here. And they took that information and they used it to their advantage. And I'm getting the sense that they told other people about it. For some reason, you wanted to believe that this person was a good person. But you saw some red flags. This person didn't sit well with you. Mm. of pentacles in reverse and the ace of pentacles in reverse oh my goodness everything's in reverse except for the ten of swords right it's also very symbolic you were not in your senses you weren't in your um your intuition wasn't on point like your intuition was on point it was your head that got in the way that's what it is your head got in the way Now, this eight of pentacles in reverse could signify actual money. Maybe that was kind of lost, that you worked for and was kind of lost. Um, it could also signify energy, emotion, or love. Like a lot of work that you put into somebody that went away. This ace of pentacles... I think this person was convincing you that they were someone that they were not. I feel like it's almost like script light. This is what I'm feeling. Like, it's like a script. I feel like they said all the appropriate things or the things that they needed to say. And you, my dear Pisces, with that big heart of yours, I get it. I get it. I'm a Pisces too. You want to, it's not that you want to, be, yeah, maybe you want to believe it, but more so you just can't believe somebody could be that deceitful to your face, you know? Like, so, and, and you like this person and you like some of their qualities. So you do give them the benefit of the doubt. But this person was like spoon feeding you this energy or this um, this direction, uh, it's not clear like what exactly, right now I'm taking it as energy, but they were spoon feeding it to you and you were taking it because you fell under this illusion, you fell under this like two of cups where you thought it was a mutual thing, where you, you, you believed them. They were a con artist, Pisces. I'm seeing that clear as day. I see a con artist here. They conned you, Pisces. It could have been for money, too. Okay. What does Pisces need to know about this person? I'm sure they already knew everything, but now their minds woke up to it. But what else do they need to know? What should they know? Okay. So I asked the universe, what should you know? And the Hierophant card comes out. This is the Wisdom card. So there is some knowledge out here for you. Mm. There is a way around this person. That's what I'm seeing. And I'm starting to get very itchy in the ear. Um, there is a way around this person. I see that 
you might be able to either if it's money that you lost you might be able to get it back if it's um energy and time i don't know how you get that back but you might be able to manipulate a situation to your favor and i see here that the hierophant says that there is some wisdom and some knowledge out there that you might want to know about you you might even get it directly from them and the way that you might get it from them is i guess being fake or kind of just containing that those emotions that you have right now which is really hard for a pisces i'm gonna say but like if you can control those emotions and kind of maneuver this animal this beast into how you want them to move you could come away very successful from this situation i don't know if that makes any sense to you but that is what the cards are saying and I'm feeling this information or this knowledge that you possibly have already or that is out there about them that can help change this whole situation around. In other words, I feel like they awakened the Pisces beast. Pisces are very, is a very interesting type of person. With Pisces, yeah, we're very nice to a fault. But... Once you get into that wrong side of Pisces, hmm, there's this other animal that comes out of Pisces. And maybe it's because of your strong intuition and feeling things out abilities and kind of like maneuvering. You almost maneuver a little snake-like. And I feel that here right now. I feel like there's something that can be switched to your advantage and it's all under your control. And I feel that you are going to be successful with this. So in a way, I feel like they left you no other choice and you're going to have to teach them a lesson. That's what I'm feeling. I don't know completely what it means. I don't know what this lesson is. But you were left with no other choice. And the dark side of Pisces is about to come out. And it's not that you want to. It's just that you were left with no other choice. Right now, I feel the spiritual realm trying to come out. There's a way about you, Pisces. And some people might think, oh, you're going to do black magic. You're going to do... No, you're not. That's not what you do. Uh, maybe some of you do. I don't know. But that's not what I do. And that's not what a lot of other Pisces out there do. There's this natural... They have these natural abilities that when they want someone to feel something, they're going to feel it. When they want that karma to hit them really hard in the ass, they're going to maneuver the universe. They're going to breathe life into the things that they want. And I feel this energy building. Because Pisces is very smart. They'll do something. But they're not going to do it in a direct, deceitful, in-your-face way. It's going to come like the wind, and the wind will be the one that will take you out. Wow. What this person did to you, I mean, I know it's bad, and I see it here very clear. So, it is what it is, I guess. I don't know. I don't really know. There's a time for, for everything, you know? There's a time, I guess, to not be so nice. But then again, I'm feeling like it's going to happen effortlessly. Like a natural thing for you, Pisces, to maneuver this person into the direction you want them to go. Okay. 
I feel a little scared of whoever these Pisces are out there. Um, because yeah, I feel what's about to happen. I feel how quickly these tables are about to turn. You got this magician card here. What is the magician card? Manifest manifesting. So yeah, that's what's about to happen. You're about to create this situation for this person who did you dirty, who took advantage of your kind heart. And you're about to create some like real harsh realities. It's almost like spiritual warfare. I don't feel like you're the type of person that needs to go to a person like that, like a, a witch doctor type of thing. I feel like you just have this natural ability. Now, I don't know if what you're looking to do is get them back and kind of have a control over them like while you're with them because I see a lot of like, like niceness and kindness and taming, you know? I see a lot of that. So I'm not really sure what it is that you're trying to do. What is this get back? But it could be that diabolic, diabolical where it's like you're luring them in to this friendly environment and... You're going to work your magic and you want, you're going to get what you want from them. And they're not even going to know what happened. I feel this diabolical feeling that it might be that. You might just get back with them and destroy something of theirs. Like, almost like they think they can get away that easily. Oh, no. No, no, no. But I see you here building the life that you want to live. So you will succeed. Your manifestation abilities are strong. You will create whatever it is that you want to. This guy, this girl, whoever this person is, has no chance. Pisces has switched over to the dark side, officially. Is there anything else we need to know about Pisces and the situation? Oof. The Four of Swords. You're just patiently waiting. Patiently waiting for the right moment to wake up and do whatever it is that you're planning to do. I think it's like getting back with them in some form and I don't really know, but I, you're, you're waiting for it's It's all about timing right now. I'm going to pull one more. The right time, energy control. Oof. I do think that you want their love back. I do. I do think that you're plotting on it. I see this Ten of Cups as that. Like you want all the love. I wonder if there's someone else involved. Hmm. I'm going to just pull another card or two. I, I got that sense right now, but I don't know. Is there someone else involved? Ooh, that card didn't fall out. Ooh, that one did. The tower card. I don't know. Hold on. Get another one. Tell me more about this tower card. I was asking if someone else was involved. Tell me more about this tower card. Is someone else involved? We got the four of pentacles and the tower. The four of pentacles is in reverse. Is someone else involved? Yes. I do feel like there might be someone else involved. It's not 100% clear, but what I'm feeling when I touch the cards is that you're planning on just burning the whole house down. 
you know, in order to get what you want. And all these emotions that you kind of keep like to yourself at this time, eventually when this house burns down or you're going to just let it all out or it can go vice versa, you're going to let it all out. And that house is going to fall down. It's going to crumble. So you might be planning a, a breakup of someone that you were with and really loved and you got duped. And your way of getting them back is staying not angry, kind of taming, kind of taming them. A little fakeness. And there's some type of knowledge. And I don't I don't know what's it's not clear about this knowledge thing that you have there, but you're definitely using your manifestation abilities to get this home that you want. All right, I'm gonna do an advice card for you, Pisces. Advice for Pisces. What advice do we have for Pisces? What advice do we have for Pisces? Completion. In the reverse. It's either that you're feeling incomplete right now because you don't have this person in your life or this person is not going to complete you. Even after you have them again, you're not gonna feel whole. I'm gonna do one more. I feel like it has the cards wanna say more stuff. What else can you tell me about this advice for Pisces? What else can you tell me for this advice for Pisces? Turning inward. Maybe there's a lot of different Pisces out there, but I'm feeling two different things. I'm feeling like it's either going to be, yeah, that you right now feel incomplete and you're going to try really hard and work on this ability to try to get this person back or it's not going to complete you anyway and you need to just focus on yourself. Because the problem is really you. There's a problem inside of you that you would want a person like that back. That's what I heard. Sorry. I'm going to take one more card. I feel a little uneasy. This is too much drama for me. Okay. New beginnings in reverse. Mm. It's either going to be that you're going to get what you asked for and it's, it's going to put you in the same place. You're not going to move forward in what it is that you want in this relationship. It's like, did you forget how this person is not meant for you or everything that they did do? Why would you want them back? It's like a feeling of going backwards. Or it could be for the other Pisces that feel stuck right now, that feel like they can't move forward, that they can't have a new beginning without this person. I'm going to pull another card. I don't feel complete yet. There's something about this that's leaving me very uneasy. And I'm getting two different energies of Pisces right now. me finish this reading out and tell me what it is that these Pisces need to know to benefit their lives the best advice for them let me know patience and planning ultimately this is all up to you Pisces I, I can take a hundred cards out but at the end of the day you're going to do what you want to do. And if what you're trying to do is get back into this relationship, you know, what it's saying is patience and planning is going to be key in order to get this person back. But it's also saying that the cards, the cards are also saying that 
you may not be happy with the outcome. But ultimately, you're not, a lot of you are not happy now without them. So it is what it is. All right, Pisces, I hope you liked the reading. Uh, please like and subscribe and thank you.